The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins is a dystopian novel set in the universe of the Hunger Games trilogy. It serves as a prequel to the original series, focusing on the character of Coriolanus Snow, who will later become the tyrannical president of Paynham. The novel is set during the Tenth Hunger Games, decades before Katniss Everdeen becomes a symbol of the rebellion. Eighteen-year-old Coriolanus Snow is a student at the Academy in the capital, preparing to mentor a tribute in the Hunger Games as part of a new initiative to engage the citizens of the capital with the districts. Despite his family's noble name, the Snows have fallen on hard times since the war, and Coriolanus is desperate to regain their status and ensure his own future prosperity. Selected to mentor the female tribute from impoverished District 12, Lucy Gray Baird, Coriolanus faces an uphill battle. Unlike tributes from wealthier districts, the prospects for Lucy Gray and her fellow District 12 tribute seem grim. Yet Lucy Gray proves to be charismatic and sings beautifully during her initial appearance, capturing the interest of the capital's citizens and Coriolanus's attention. During the build-up to the games, Coriolanus begins to form a complex bond with Lucy Gray. He starts to see her as a person rather than just a pawn in the games and becomes increasingly invested in her survival. His moral compass is tested as he navigates the political intrigue within the capital and encounters the brutality of the game's organizers. The games themselves are a far cry from the high-tech spectacles of Katniss's time. They are primitive and savage, with tributes housed in a dilapidated zoo and left to survive in a decrepit arena. Coriolanus secretly helps Lucy Gray during the games, providing her with advice and sneaking her food. However, his actions do not go unnoticed, and he is forced to reckon with the consequences of breaking the rules. At the same time, Coriolanus is involved with the Academy's theatrical production of The Hunger Games, directed by Dr. Gall, the head game maker. Dr. Gall becomes a mentor-like figure to Snow, appreciating his cunning and strategic thinking. She suits the role of a twisted teacher, pushing Coriolanus and the other students at the Academy to stretch their moral boundaries in the name of power and survival. As the games progress, the capital citizens become more invested and new measures are introduced to increase engagement, such as betting and sponsorship, ideas that Coriolanus helps to develop. Amidst this, his relationship with Lucy Gray continues to deepen, blurring the lines between mentor and romantic interest. In the finale of The Hunger Games, Lucy Gray manages to outlast the other tributes with the assistance of Coriolanus. The victory is bittersweet, and following the games, Coriolanus finds himself facing public disgrace and punishment due to his transgressions during the event. He is sent to District 12 as a peacekeeper, a move that simultaneously saves him from execution and condemns him to a life far from the power center of the capital. In District 12, Coriolanus reunites with Lucy Gray and becomes an integral part of her life. They grow closer, and he even contemplates a life away from the capital with her. However, his drive for power and ingrained beliefs about the superiority of the capital start to resurface. His experiences in the district reveal how deeply flawed the society of Paynham is and bring out the ugliest parts of his character. The deeper immersion into district life along with a series of personal and political betrayals, served to harden Coriolanus's heart and focus his ambitions. Internal conflict arises as he struggles between his genuine affection for Lucy Gray and his insatiable hunger for power and status. This internal struggle reaches a crescendo when Coriolanus believes Lucy Gray has betrayed him. Betrayal, a recurring theme of the book, comes to define Coriolanus's transformation. After an incident in the woods where his life is at stake, he chooses self-preservation over any remaining semblance of love or compassion for Lucy Gray or the other district residents. This decision firmly plants the seeds for the man he will become. As Coriolanus surrenders to his ambition, he betrays those around him and ultimately returns to the capital. He informs on Sayanus Plinth, his one-time friend from District 2, who had become a peacekeeper with him, leading to Sejanus' execution. As a reward, Coriolanus is reinstated as a student at the Academy, setting his future in motion. The novel concludes with Coriolanus embracing his new role, shedding his former morality, and looking towards the future with his newfound ruthless perspective. Through a twist of fate involving the murder of a classmate, 
he ends up poised for a meteoric rise in the capital's political world. From this point on, he starts climbing the ladder towards the ultimate seat of power as the president of Panem, a position he will hold when we meet him decades later in the original Hunger Games trilogy. Therein lies the core narrative of the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, the origin story of an antagonist destined to become a dictator, providing a backdrop to the atrocities and social injustices that will fuel the eventual rebellion led by Katniss Everdeen. It's a tale of power, ambition, betrayal, and the loss of innocence, showing how a combination of personal choice and circumstance can shape one's destiny. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.